Hey, it's Mike Monday here again. So in the last video, I asked you to put your sources of motivation for making music up on somewhere like a bathroom mirror, but not in your studio. So why was that? Well, it was for two main reasons. First, some scientific research shows that by focusing on something that you want to achieve daily, you can fool your brain into thinking you've already done it, lowering your motivation to do the hard stuff. And in my experience of helping hundreds of music producers just like you, this often happens. You sit down in front of that blank screen and your mind also goes blank. And then if you think of something reminding of you of a future which you find it hard to believe, or it seems such a long way off, or you've not yet achieved, then you'll likely feel an enormous hit of negativity, hopelessness, and frustration. Cue Facebook. So what's the solution? Well, I'll take each of these in turn. If you don't believe a bigger future for you is possible, by believing what you're shooting for is impossible, you're ensuring you won't do the work. But most people choose their beliefs about what's possible in life and the world based on what they've already experienced. Unless they've actually been there and done it already, then it isn't possible. But think about it. If you do this, base your beliefs on what you've already experienced, then you won't, you can't ever move upwards or upwards. Growing, developing, having a bigger future involves believing you can be something that you are not now and that you have not experienced. So choose to believe it's possible. How do you do that? Well, really it's a case of taking something of a leap of faith or even at first, just believing it might be possible. And then on that basis, taking action because the progress you make when you take action means you grow, which then in turn changes your beliefs about what is possible. And if it seems such a long way off now, when you're sitting down in front of your DAW, instead of focusing on the goal, focus on your progress. Play against yourself. You're focusing on how far you've come each day, each week, each month, each year, instead of focusing on how far you're away from your goal. Look at the goal to, the point of, to get to the point of sitting down to make music, but when you are sitting, focus on your progress. If it's just a reminder of all the things you haven't yet achieved. Now here there's a big mistake that most everyone makes at every level of experience. And there's a great video of Ira Glass talking about this. Just Google Ira Glass storytelling to watch it. But I'll give you my version of it. You've been a consumer of music since you've been a baby. You're an expert and have a highly developed sense of what's great and what isn't. So even if you've been producing music for years, you are a much better consumer than you are a producer. Therefore, what you produce isn't going to be up to the standard demanded by your ears. Get over it for now. One day it might be up to that standard, but only if you get over it. Because that music you listen to and you love and you want to be as good as is made by people who finished a whole load of stuff they didn't like much first. So how do you get over it? Well, I have a number of ways of thinking about this that either my students or me have found helpful. Use one or all of these to get out of that, this track has to be the embodiment of my self-worth mindset. Every track you finish is a lesson, a much more exciting, interesting and powerful lesson than an actual tutorial lesson on YouTube or a music production course. And the structure of this lesson is dictated by the steps you need to finish a track. And each lesson you finish, you will use what you've learned and build on and apply in the next lesson. Each track is a journal entry of where you're at at this point, like a snapshot of your progress. It's a diary you'll be able to trace in the future of how you went from zero to hero. Think of your music like Apple, Google and Facebook think about their products. Each track is an upgrade. Maybe you are in beta now, version 0. Point something. Or maybe you're already on OSX Mavericks, but you're still constantly iterating and improving on each successive release. 